The Tonian period, the earliest division of the Neo-Proterozoic era, spans from approximately 1,000 to 720 million years ago. Its name is derived from the ancient Greek word tonos, meaning stretch, alluding to the significant geological processes of rifting and tectonic reconfiguration that took place during this time. Unlike many other geologic periods, which are defined based on stratigraphic evidence, the boundaries of the Tonian are based on radiometric chronometry as established by the International Commission on Stratigraphy, ICS. This period follows the Stenian period, part of the Mesoproterozoic era, and precedes the Cryogenian period, which is characterized by extensive global glaciations. The Tonian marks an essential transition in Earth's geological and biological history, encompassing significant tectonic activity, early evolution of complex eukaryotic life, and environmental changes that set the stage for subsequent global events. This video explores these key aspects, examining the Tonian in terms of supercontinental dynamics, climate, life, and its broader significance in Earth's history. One of the defining geological features of the Tonian was the gradual fragmentation of the supercontinent Rodinia. Rodinia had assembled during the mid-Stenian period and remained intact for several hundred million years before rifting began between 900 and 850 million years ago. This process of rifting, influenced by mantle dynamics and plate tectonics, ultimately led to the formation of new ocean basins and reconfiguration of Earth's landmasses. Rodinia was one of Earth's earliest well-documented supercontinents, formed through the convergence of various cratons, ancient continental cores. It played a critical role in shaping the planet's climate, oceanic circulation, and biological evolution. However, by the Tonian, the tectonic forces that had assembled Rodinia began to pull it apart. The rifting process was driven by upwelling mantle plumes, causing the lithosphere to stretch and fracture. The breakup of Rodinia had profound implications for oceanic and atmospheric circulation. As land masses drifted apart, newly formed rift valleys and basins facilitated changes in ocean currents, influencing global climate patterns. Additionally, the increased volcanic activity associated with rifting released substantial amounts of carbon dioxide, which likely contributed to greenhouse warming, counteracting the cooling trends seen in later periods. The formation of rift basins during the Tonian altered oceanic conditions, impacting sedimentation patterns and nutrient cycling. These basins became key sites for chemical weathering, leading to the accumulation of sediments rich in iron and other minerals. Moreover, changes in oceanic circulation may have enhanced the availability of nutrients such as phosphorus, a critical factor in the evolution of early complex life forms. The climate of the Tonian was generally more stable compared to the extreme glaciations that characterized the subsequent Cryogenian period. However, it was not without climatic fluctuations. The geological evidence suggests that while greenhouse conditions prevailed for much of the Tonian, periodic cooling events may have occurred due to tectonic-driven changes in atmospheric and oceanic circulation. While the Tonian did not witness full-scale snowball Earth events, some geological records indicate localized glaciation in certain regions. The increasing weathering of continental rocks, driven by the exposure of fresh crust due to Rodinia's breakup may have contributed to long-term carbon dioxide drawdown. This process ultimately set the stage for the extreme glaciations of the Cryogenian. The Tonian saw important changes in atmospheric composition, particularly concerning oxygen levels. The gradual oxygenation of Earth's atmosphere, which had begun during the Proterozoic Eon, continued in the Tonian although it was still far from reaching modern levels. This increase in oxygen availability played a crucial role in supporting the diversification of eukaryotic life. 
The Tonian period represents a crucial stage in the evolution of life on Earth, particularly concerning eukaryotic organisms. Fossil evidence from this period indicates a notable increase in the complexity and diversity of early eukaryotes, including the appearance of some of the earliest known multicellular organisms. Eukaryotes, organisms with complex cellular structures including a nucleus and organelles, had already emerged by the Mesoproterozoic. However, it was during the Tonian that they began to diversify significantly. Fossilized remains of early eukaryotic cells, including acritarchs, organic walled microfossils, suggest that this period was marked by increasing biological innovation. One of the most significant developments was the emergence of early multicellular life forms, potentially representing the ancestors of modern animals and fungi. Fossils from Tonian-aged rock formations in Australia, China, and North America have revealed evidence of larger, more complex eukaryotic cells, indicating an evolutionary leap in cellular differentiation and cooperation. Among the most prominent eukaryotic groups to expand during the Tonian were early forms of protozoans and algae. Red and green algae, in particular, became ecologically significant, contributing to primary production in marine environments. These photosynthetic organisms played a pivotal role in oxygenating Earth's oceans and atmosphere, reinforcing the environmental shifts that influenced later biological evolution. The significance of the Tonian period extends beyond its chronological boundaries. It represents a bridge between the relatively stable conditions of the Mesoproterozoic and the dramatic climatic and evolutionary shifts of the Neoproterozoic. The tectonic movements initiated during the Tonian reshaped Earth's geography, while the biological advancements laid the groundwork for future evolutionary milestones, including the emergence of animals in the Ediacaran period. The changes initiated in the Tonian had cascading effects that influenced subsequent geological and biological developments. The increased oxygenation of Earth's atmosphere and oceans coupled with the continued diversification of eukaryotes, set the stage for the emergence of complex, multicellular life. By the time the Cryogenian began, the Earth was primed for both extreme climatic shifts and further evolutionary breakthroughs. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.